Hello, Clean My Space Nation. Welcome to the first video of our three-part series on how to clean and care for small spaces. This video is going to cover exactly what cleaning tools and supplies you need for that small space, and of course, how to store them. We'll start off with how to clean and care for your floors. Now here's the deal. I don't want you to go out and get all kinds of different cleaning tools. I'm really looking for the best multi-purpose tools that are gonna get you the most cleaning action with the least amount of stuff. So I think a flathead mop, something like this, as you can see, this is a Swiffer, but I've covered it with a microfiber cloth and that way I don't have to store anything extra. This is really great because not only can it replace a mop because you can just use a spray bottle and a Swiffer over it, but it will also replace a broom. So if you don't feel like storing a mop in a broom, a flathead mop is a great option. Now, in terms of vacuuming, you can pick up all kinds of neat little handheld vacs that come with extra tools and accessories. They also have longer pieces so you can actually vacuum your floor as well. If that's not something that's in your budget, you can look into getting a stick vacuum and then using alternative products like a lint roller to get rid of anything on upholstery. If you want to find some sneaky ways to store these larger cleaning tools, you can often buy these machines with docking stations and you can hang them somewhere in a closet and plug them into charge and find a little basket to keep all of your little tools in. That's what I do. Other ideas, you can place that at the top of a closet and then just find a little space where you can charge the actual device itself. Now for a mop or a flathead mop, you can typically find a little spot in the back of a coat closet or if you're lucky, you can wedge it in between your washer and dryer. That's how you can hide all of this stuff, but make sure that you still have it. Next, we'll move on to brushes, sponges, and tools. There are so many cleaning tools that you could get, but I'm just really gonna take it down to the basics and show you exactly what you need in your small space. So we'll start off with a scrub brush. These are really good for any of those heavy duty jobs that you're going to encounter. It's a multifunction tool. It'll definitely help with cleaning shower and grout. And this is easy to store in the back of a bathroom cupboard. The next thing I would recommend are a couple of sponges. I always like one for the kitchen and one for the bathroom. In fact, you can even leave one in each space. Don't store a ton of sponges, just replace them as you need. Now in terms of brushes, I like to have a dish and sink brush, which is really great, obviously, for your dishes and your sink, but can be used for other detail jobs. Of course, you guys know me, I love cleaning toothbrushes. So every time you go to the dentist, see if you can pick up a spare one, and then just use that for any of your smaller detailed cleaning jobs. A scraper is always something handy to have, especially for any of those little hard things that you need to scrape off, but you don't wanna scratch your beautiful finishes. And of course, a squeegee is fantastic, not only for cleaning tiles and glass, but also for lifting up any pet hair on upholstery. After using your cleaning tools, make sure that you clean them and dry them before storing them away. And what I would recommend is to find a little basket that you can keep your tools in, in the zone which they belong. So obviously your bathroom tools, find a little basket and store that in the back of your bathroom cupboard and in your kitchen, do the same thing. Next up, we'll talk about cleaning cloths. So over here, you can see I have a nice selection. I have a couple of tea towels. I would recommend having no more than six. Obviously, you're gonna wanna change them out every few days, but you don't wanna build up a huge laundry basket full of them. Over here, I have some heavy-duty polishing cloths for some of those larger cleaning jobs, which require a delicate touch. And then over here, I have an electronics cloth and some general purpose microfiber cloths as well. Now, the idea is microfiber cloths are great because not only do they clean incredibly well, but you can also wash them up to 500 times and they will replace your need for paper towel. So on the topic of paper towel, I would recommend only getting the two pack. Not only are they difficult to store, obviously they're huge and bulky, but as you use your microfiber cloths more, you will rely upon these less and you'll only need them for the jobs which are absolutely necessary. Now in terms of storing your microfiber cloths, there are a few options that you have. You can either put them in that little cupboard above your stove, that's what I do, but if you don't have that one for whatever reason, get yourself a little basket or reusable bag, stick your cloths in there, and you can put that on top of your laundry machine or in the cupboard underneath your kitchen sink or your bathroom sink. In terms of cleaning products, we are going to find stuff that can do double duty here. So I've picked out a lot of items that are pantry items as well as products that you can use to mix up your own cleaning supplies. The reason I like this is because it's gonna help you save space, get yourself some spray bottles and only mix up what you need when you need it. Now, in case you're wondering how to make all of your own cleaning supplies, don't worry, 
I've got you covered. There are some videos linked down below where you can learn about how to make your own stuff. For storing all of your cleaning products, of course, anything that doesn't belong in the laundry room or in the pantry, you can get yourself a cleaning caddy. And as you can see, I already have my spray bottles in here, as well as a pair of rubber gloves and some extra garbage bags. For all of the details on this cleaning kit, as well as product links and any other information that you might be curious about and some extra tips, I've got a detailed blog post up for you. So please visit cleanmyspace.com slash small spaces. There's a button down there that lets me know you care. So click it if you liked this video and click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Oh, remember, we've got two more videos in this series, so stay tuned for that. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Me again. Just wanted to tell you that at this part of the video, I get to share with you two other videos that I think you're gonna love, and because we talked about both baking soda and vinegar and how amazing they are for cleaning, especially in a small space, I think you should check out my video on how to clean with vinegar, and of course, on how to clean with baking soda. So we'll link those right there for you. Again, check out cleanmyspace.com for all kinds of great cleaning information, and we will see you next time.